In this episode, we paint the bilge, replace the stair padding, and clean the heat exchanger. What are you doing? Cleaning. You, We're going to clean up and get a little bilge refresher. We did the oil change last week. And it's, we cleaned up most of it, but we're gonna really get in and get a nice deep clean and put uh, some oil-based paint, white paint, make it real pretty and shiny. The Coast Guard doesn't like to see your build full of oil and dirt and stuff, then they suspect that you're running a dirty operation. Yeah. We are running a sparkly clean operation. Yeah, we're gonna clean it up. Clean it up, make it all nice and shiny again. This is gonna look nice. Look how nice this looks here. Oh, we love you, we Under that crate. I think this area back here is gonna get done next. Back there. Okay, now I'm all sweaty. <laughs> that was a tight squeeze back in there. All right, check it out, here it is. But anyways, I got that corner done. Now, um, I don't know, I'm thinking about this corner back here. It's pretty, oh no, that might be a good corner. It's even tighter squeeze though. Acetone, good for everything. got the painting done for the most part. I gotta get some fresh air, that paint is stink. Right now I am working on replacing this padding that's on the stairs. There's been a couple slips and falls by Mike and I because this gray padding that was put on here is actually kind of slippery. But we found some new stuff to replace it with. Check out this stuff. Right here, it's a grippy, I don't know, stuff we got on Amazon. So I'm gonna put that on. It's actually, I, I actually got the foam off the first step going up to the flybridge. It was actually pretty easy coming off. Uh, but the foam going down to the platform, that's a different story. Maybe it's because it always gets cooked in the sun, but the glue is like really sticking good and the foam is wanting to come off in pieces and it's gonna be an all day thing. Take a break. Oh. 
Okay, today we are cleaning the heat exchangers. I uh, have a pump. It's a special pump. You can't use a regular pump because it will destroy your pump. This is what they call epoxy clad pump, which acids and harmful chemicals, it won't destroy it. So we're pumping this chemical into our heat exchanger here. And this is our first exchanger, which is our fuel and fuel and transmission cooler. And then after that, it's going into the main engine heat exchanger. And then out, that would be connected to your exhaust, but I have it draining right into a bucket. We're circulating this chemical through there and it should eat up any calcium that's been growing on the exchanger and hopefully flush it out. So let's see, we'll let it run for 20 minutes, put it back together and then fire up the engine, make sure we run all the chemicals out. And then the next time we go out, see if the temperature difference changes. Okay, so engine flushed out, engine heat exchangers flushed out. Now we, we're going to start the engines up just to rinse any extra dirt or whatever is laying in the engine after the cleaning. And you should be able to see it come out the exhaust. All right, y'all, I know there's gonna be some environmental haters out there, but that's environmentally friendly stuff. It's like 50 bucks a gallon. So don't hate, appreciate. <laughs> I spent three times as much to buy the environmentally friendly stuff, so yes. there you go. It will not that, kill any wildlife No, you could anything. try to drink it, but I don't think I'd want to. No, I wouldn't either. It probably wouldn't taste very but good. <laughs> I spend the extra money to buy the environmentally friendly stuff, just FYI. That was yes. just dirt and a little bit of extra chemical that came out, but it environmentally friendly so yep. everybody take a chill pill kind of like where they wash the little duckling off with the um, with the dawn dish soap it's environmentally friendly don't worry that's a lot of dirt we go dark dark dirt cloud